Everlast Pebble Stone is very easy to install. The first step is to prepare the concrete by removing any existing coating. You can rent this floor maintainer at almost any tool rental location. This one is available at Home Depot for $34 for four hours. If you are removing a coating, then get a coating removal attachment. For bare concrete, use the concrete prep tool. For a plywood subfloor, use 36 grit sandpaper. The next step is to prime the floor. Unless your floor has a moisture problem, then don't prime the floor. Call us about our vapor vent system, a concrete moisture solution. For this project, they used Everlast Outdoor Tough Weatherproof Polyavastic because this floor is exposed to sunlight and they want the floor to look nice for years. If they went with one of the UV-resistant epoxies that other companies sell, the protection would erode in a few months and the floor would turn yellowish and the finish would be chalky. So they made the wise decision to use Everlast Polyavastic and now their floor will look nice for years. The next step is to pour out all of one unit of Part B into one can of Part A and blend well, and then roll on the primer. Cut the primer with solvent. If you are using our outdoor polyavastic, cut it with MEK. If our indoor epoxy, cut it with xylene. Let the primer dry overnight. Mark out your first section on the floor so you can make sure your gauge rake is set to the proper depth and that you can get the correct coverage. You may need to mark out the next section before blending each new batch until you are confident that you are getting the right coverage. This is a patio so we are doing 3 foot by 8 foot sections of 24 square feet for each batch. This gives us a depth of half an inch. Now you are ready to install the pebble stone. Pour out all of one unit of part B into one can of part A and blend well. Then pour two bags of pebbles into a $17 metal tub and pour the blended resin over the pebbles. Mix the resin in thoroughly with a mud mixing drill. Be sure to blend it thoroughly so that there are no dry patches of pebbles. the pebbles and spread them with the gauge rack to get a uniform coverage inside the 24 square foot section.
rocks or where we were we mixing it. I'll that try. Was, the sun's going down. That's a bad one. Oh. It's so chocolate. Kyle. I didn't have it. That was on purpose. Yeah. This is not no, no way. This, this is what it looks like when you get it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's not Next, even the pebbles out with a 16-inch finished trowel. We prefer the Marshalltown lightweight finished trowels. It is important to take your time and do a nice job. Try to have an even finish with no trowel marks or stray rocks sticking up. It is easy to do a nice job, but it does take extra time. If you try to hurry, it will not look nice. That's what I got out of it. What? <laughs> oh, they can be Says the one that's true, and this man did get a car. Worked all summer for it. Yep. It's not a bad looking car at that, my friend. I think it was uh, 1500 1500 for that car, really? How well, a thousand, get... actually. My dad paid 500 I paid a dollar. How did you get the perfect car? So Kirby gave me a really good deal. Well, Kirby is a nice young man. He is, yeah. It's a three thousand dollar car. I can flip it. It looks better than that. It does, but that's that's how much it's selling for. This is a how did Kirby get it? Kirby bought it from. I don't remember where he got it, but he got it. He got it all fixed up, edge and check. He got all the work done on it, except for a few things that I had to do. Um, if you leave uneven areas or holes in the pebble stone, then after the floor is finished, some of the pebbles could start coming out in those areas. So the better of a job you do troweling, the less likely you will have to patch the floor area later on. That's probably good, Carl. The next step is to let the pebble stone get hard. Indoor epoxy will be cured the next morning. Outdoor polyavastic will take an extra day to cure. The next step is to scrape off any stray pebbles that are sticking up and sweep or blow off the floor to remove the extra pebbles. up some more polyavastic or epoxy and roll a top coat over the floor. If you use an indoor epoxy top coat, it will be ready to walk on the next morning, and the outdoor polyavastic top coat will take an extra day to cure. Now you will have the nicest looking floor in town, so be prepared to offer your services to your friends and neighbors. Have fun and enjoy!